We do it with our fingers and hands without even realizing it. Depending on the task, we continuously adjust the amount of pressure we exert. Now, researchers have found a way to convey this precise graded control to a prosthetic hand. And in doing so, they are restoring human connections. Keith von der Heuvel lost his dominant right hand 11 years ago in a work accident. He's had a prosthetic arm, but he thinks of it as just a tool. It'd be like you taking one of those grabbers and grab your child's hand. Do you get anything out of it? Do you feel anything? No, you don't. Now, a new prosthetic system is giving Keith the ability not only to feel his loved one's hands, but also to finally control the pressure he's exerting. That's proven invaluable. My granddaughters, they've grabbed a hold of my hand. If I'm not watching close enough, I squeeze a little tight, and they're like, ow, let go. Because <laughs> without sensation, you can't tell. With sensation on, I grabbed her with both hands and picked her up and could actually feel that I was holding her and not squeezing too tight, and she gave me a big hug. That one just, that gets to me. It's all about creating electrical connections between the prosthetic hand and the human brain. Our work in this project showed us that we could achieve graded perception of intensity with artificial electrical stimulation. The electrical stimulation now can mimic, come very close to what you have with your normal hand. So we've learned the electrical language to do that. Pressure sensors on the prosthetic hand send signals to a portable stimulator, which in turn sends electrical pulses to nerve bundles in his arm. The stimulated nerves carry signals to the brain which determines the intensity that Keith feels. Doing things out in the kitchen, like buttering a piece of toast, grabbing eggs and not smashing them, may seem little to some people, but it's big things to others, especially when you're missing a limb. A previous study provided subjects with the ability to distinguish between textures. So this is building on a lot of important work that we've been doing at Case Western Reserve University in collaboration with the VA Medical Center, funding both from the VA and from DARPA. We went to D.C. for DARPA convention and met Secretary of Defense. Average Joe like me doesn't usually meet somebody like that. It used to be I would shake with my left hand. And now I feel a lot more confident. I'll put my right hand out there and shake their hand. This connects them to the world. They describe it as their hand. And I think that's a critical difference here. It becomes part of who you are. We collaborated with researchers at the University of Chicago to systematically assess our subject's ability to perceive intensity using the electrical stimulation. This approach provides a new level of insight into the way the brain understands intensity, which up until now has been a long debate in the scientific community. That allows us actually to move on to this more complex set of stimuli and sensations. In the meantime, Keith von der Heuvel is happy to use his new prosthetic system at home. With sensation on, I feel that I'm actually touching my daughter's hand, not the prosthetic, and it becomes natural to them, just like it does to me. It makes a big difference. <laughs>